School hadn't even begun. Students and teachers stream out of Thurston High School. These are the faces of chaos. Emotion in every face. Disbelief, not only pain, but confusion. Tears and a single question, why? Some of the injured leave walking. Others aren't so lucky. Rescue crews must carry more than a dozen others in stretchers. All this carnage from a few seconds of madness. Students say 15-year-old Kiplin Kinkle walked into a crowded cafeteria and just started shooting. He acted so calm about it. I thought it was just like a prank or something. And he acted like he had a, a fake gun, like a cap gun. He was just going... Psh, 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 psh. Stacy Compton knows just yeah, how was, real there, there was it was. Lying on the floor, there's blood all over the floor, everything. It was like a pool of blood. I was standing in it. Victims fell on both sides of her. Then the shooter tried to change guns. Adam Wahlberger and two friends made their move. He was trying to get pistols. He had two pistols in his bow. And the other kid that was with me, um, when we tackled him, he got shot. As word got out, parents rushed to the school. Some fighting with police to get to their children. Many say they were kept in the dark. I tried to find her. I couldn't find her anywhere. Everybody said that they were going to raise the kids soon, so I thought, well, I just waited out. And I couldn't find her anywhere. She normally walks home. There's nothing normal about today. Here now in Springfield, traffic is very heavy tonight. Traffic both of cars driving back and forth on the road in front of the school, trying to figure out exactly why this happened here, and traffic of students friends and family who are slowly building an impromptu memorial. There he was with a 22 rifle and just sitting there just shooting into the crowd of people in the cafeteria. But the tragedy that was today didn't start there. Police believe Kinkle's rampage began at home where two more people were found dead and before it was over three people would be dead. Two dozen others taken to the hospital, the young suspect in custody, and an entire city stuck with the impossible question, why? Ben? Ben? Are you serious? Classmates and close friends are just learning about another loss. This morning they are told 17-year-old Ben Walker won't recover from the head injury he suffered during the shootout in the cafeteria. His girlfriend, Cheyenne Schreier, will miss him more than most. The thing I liked the most about him was his eyes. They were so gentle. But there's nothing gentle about this day, except the response from all of these people, some who don't know the victims, but reach out to help. And right now, Cheyenne Schreier can use some help, help with a tremendous loss. He was the sweetest guy I have ever met in my whole entire life. And he was so innocent, and so was everybody. He deserved this, nobody did. And that makes it hard to cope. In Springfield, Kim Attridge, Channel 2 News. 17-year-old Rick Peek was walking down a hallway at Thurston High School Thursday morning when he heard what he thought was firecrackers. He turned around and saw a student with a gun. And then he followed me into the cafeteria, and. Uh, he started shooting people inside there, and as I was running out the front door, he shot me in the back of the arm. Peek says he feels lucky his gunshot wound is minor compared to injuries some of his friends received. He says he hopes Kip Kinkle is punished for what he did. I hope he gets in trouble for what he did, because I don't think it's right. But... Peek's mother says yesterday she was numb. Today, she's angry. She said this morning, I just was bawling. I couldn't believe that one child could do this. I'm very angry at him. I'm very angry with the system because they didn't do anything to stop him, and it could have been prevented. Rick Peek is now out of the hospital and wants to do what many teenagers like to do, get some sleep. In Eugene at Sacred Heart Hospital, Paula Gunnis, Channel 2 News.